What's up everybody? So today we are at Melia Caribe Beach here in Punta Cana and uh, this is for Alicia's birthday weekend and uh, we're spending five days here and then we're going to another resort at Casa de Campo, the world famous resort here in the Dominican Republic. And so the next uh, 10 days should be very, very interesting and very, very fun. Can't wait to show you. So as you guys have probably seen already, I've been living in the Dominican Republic for about three months now. So we came in car, uh, you know, from the capital to here was about two and a half hours, about two hours, a little bit more, but whatever, so, somewhere. Yeah, with me driving about two hours. And uh, yeah, this is the main entrance after we park the car over there. I usually take, uh, you know, corner parking spots just because you never know what happens. So this is the check-in right here. And uh, it's very spacious. It gives me like a very zen vibes, which is actually really nice. I guess due to COVID, I don't know if this is a normal thing. They have her or someone else there with a tablet just checking you in or kind of pre-checking you in. And uh, then what you end up doing is taking a seat, waiting for them to check you in, and then you're good to go. And here's re here he's returning for us. So after about about 45 minutes to an hour of checking in, now we are on the way to our room. For today we are in, well not today, but this whole five days we are in room 3524. So we made it to our building and our room key didn't work. Uh, you know, second time in a row this happens to us. At the Hard Rock it happened and then here now it happens. Uh, I don't know what the universe is trying to say, but I, you know, I'm not losing my keys or something. But uh, yeah, so far thoughts on the resort. It looks pretty cool. Um, it's absolutely ginormous. Like honestly, this thing is huge, like huge, huge. Uh, so yeah, can't wait to explore and see it, but I do not want to walk here. So after the other kind of long wait, uh, this is the room guys. So we have a room with a jacuzzi, which is an upgraded room. Uh, we actually paid a little extra to get this room and have access to the premium liquor and stuff. I love the headboard, the mirror, everything, and especially the jacuzzi right here. Really, really nice. And uh, now we're gonna go look at the bathroom. So right there, we got a shower right here. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Oh, and we got a, I think it's called the Vidae, whatever that is. It's a Vidae. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, okay. <laughs> so right now, guys, we are just kind of walking around and waiting for a train. Um, they legit have like a, like kind of, train looking thing that takes you around the property because this property is huge like I mean I thought the hard rock was pretty big and I mean it is it's really huge this one's pretty up there also um there's probably more stuff on the hard rock you know property but as far as land itself I think this is a uh, yeah pretty up there so guys we're getting a ride to the lobby aka where our restaurant is and uh, look at the train thing yeah, I wasn't joking. Guys, so I just got my food here at the Mediterranean restaurant called Capri. And I ordered a beef something, but look at this. I just cut into it and it is perfectly cooked in and out looks beautiful 
Looks absolutely beautiful. It's for me. And then Alicia got a couscous. She got like a, what do you have right there on the potatoes? What'd you say it looked like? <laughs> oh my gosh. I think, guys, you think she's already lit? I think so. I think I'm literally only up to drink. <laughs> We got a cheesecake and Alicia got a creme brulee. What is it? Creme brulee. She's trying to be, yo, you see her trying to correct me when I'm right? I'm not correcting, I'm just trying to see how you said it. Oh yeah, <laughs> just looking nice. Guys, so the lobby looks absolutely amazing at night. Uh, this is the restaurant we were in, Caribe. And uh, now we're going to go to a show and uh, it just looks really amazing at night, man. This this is like super cool. And the show's actually right over there-ish, somewhere around that area. And today is uh, Noche Dominicana, which means Dominican night. And yeah, can't wait to show you. So they got a bar right here also. And this looks just really, really nice. What's up everybody? So right now we are at the Italian restaurant here at the Melia. And uh, funny story, we actually had to wear a mask from the entrance right there, legit to right here at the table. The whole other time in the lobby we weren't wearing a mask, to come here we weren't wearing a mask, but they said to go to the table we have to wear a mask. And then I just took it off once I got to the table. <laughs> so. Throughout this distance right here, I could have caught COVID, but thank God I had a mask. Ain't that right, Eliana? <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Did you almost catch COVID fighting there? Yeah, I think oh, so. Yeah, good thing we had masks. But you know, at this level, um, COVID doesn't affect us. So uh, when we're sitting down, it knows. But yeah, you know, we're, we're good. You're so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> is actually good. So at least we have something pro. At least the bread. Yes. Oh, well, the Let's see if the pasta is actually good. The Mediterranean yeah. was not hitting last night. This, yeah, this honestly. It's very it's too cute to have trash food. So let's see. Yeah. Okay, guys. Yep. So we just got our appetizers right here. It's like the whole bunch of salads. <laughs> <laughs> Two salads. Salads. <laughs> silent party and uh, it's freaking crazy so the people have the headphones on and we all are listening to music so two different types of music blue is for like a uh, more American stuff and then red is for um, bachata and stuff like that what's up everybody so this is our third day here and uh, you know, time to give you a little bit more insight on this, uh, you know, resort. It's definitely aesthetically beautiful. Honestly, you can't take that away from this resort. This place has tons of uh, great places to actually take pictures. Uh, service is pretty good. And, uh, you know, honestly, it's, it's a beautiful place. Uh, huge property, by the way, too. The one thing that I can tell you about this is that the food is uh, mediocre. 
it is uh, pretty trash. And Alicia can really uh, second that, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. And uh, <laughs> honestly, there's, uh, you know, two things that kind of, you know, stand out to me is uh, one, you know, the Italian restaurant that we went to yesterday was kind of also trash. Like if, if that's trash, honestly, in my opinion, Italian food is uh, pretty simple, but like delicious, usually really good to do. And they kind of messed that one up. There was a f like, you know, a few things I actually liked from there. Um, and yeah, you know, the first restaurant we went to, which was a Mediterranean one, also not so good. Today we're going to a Vietnamese one and I'm hoping it's a little better, but honestly, the only thing I've really liked from this resort is the fried chicken. <laughs> and that's really it, like honestly, it's uh, been crazy breakfast. Sometimes I'd rather much stay in the room than actually go get it. But yeah, honestly, uh, it's pretty much that for the food. So food definitely gets like a, what, a two out of 10? A two. Yeah, probably a two. Yeah, man, you look at that pretty bad, honestly. So, yeah, if you're a foodie, uh, not the place for you, honestly. So, guys, we're on the way to the Mediterranean restaurant. We have to go to the lobby, then go to the adults only section. We are on the train. So guys, right now we're going to the Vietnamese spot and uh, I'm really hoping this place is actually good. <laughs> the last two nights have not been very good as far as dinner. And uh, yeah, you know, we're trying the Vietnamese spot. They actually had churrasco, which is something weird that I was not expecting to see at the, you know, the Vietnamese place. I was expecting pho, which I actually really like, but didn't see that there. Instead, I seen churrasco, which is where uh, something I should have seen something somewhere else, which is weird. But um, yeah, you know, let's give it a try. And uh, today I'm probably getting the churrasco and something else. Well guys, we arrived. It's the same building as yesterday, technically. Just the Italians to the left and the Vietnamese is to the right. So uh, this is gonna be a really nice place. Um, Cause the building's very fancy, honestly. Like I said, aesthetically, everything is beautiful here. So guys, we are at the Vietnamese spot and got sushi, which is Japanese. And then miso soup was also Japanese, but it is pretty good. Guys, so the main dishes came and this is freaking crazy. It's a buffet. This is crazy. And now we're at the beach looking gorgeous today, like absolutely gorgeous. Guys, so we're in a pool right now on a surfboard. And Alicia is, uh, yeah, she's uh, kind of kayaking, surfboarding, I don't know, something like that. So guys, uh, I wish I could have got it on video, but Alicia just like smacked the hell out of me with the freaking paddle. And uh, we both fell into the water. So yeah. Now let's see if she can get back on the, the surfboard. <laughs> yes. Come on, go. Hello. Oh, oh, I guess going to the gym does pay off sometimes. It does, it sure does. So look at Alicia just there, nice and calm.
what's up everybody so now it's time to kind of rate the resort you know it's uh you know it's been a crazy four days and uh you know this resort is honestly uh sweet and sour to give it a, a name you know it's like sweet because the resort itself is actually really nice it's really big uh, it's aesthetically pleasing honestly in a lot of terms it is like really beautiful there's a lot of different places you could take pictures at and uh, really just you know do something there's something to do but you know when it comes to food it is uh, terrible you know so as far as the resort I'd give that a 10 out of 10 you know because it, it definitely has a lot of things well now let's get to the food for real you know, we went to the Italian spot, the Mediterranean spot, the Vietnamese spot. Out of those three, aesthetically, they're beautiful. But food-wise, they're all pretty bad. The Vietnamese is actually the best out of the three. And um, and it's even then still not that good. Um, you know, I've actually never seen Alicia leave dessert. And uh, she left them. <laughs> you know, it, it, the food, mediocre, honestly. But for the price, it's, uh, you know, not bad at the end of the day. Now let's go into service. Service is uh, another one where I think it could improve here. In general, the service is pretty good. People are nice, you know, everything. But it just takes forever sometimes to get things done. So like um, we tried to ask for uh, room service. They didn't pick up at like one in the morning or something like that. Then uh, that was one that was kind of like, what the hell? Our room key stopped working at the beginning, the first day. And then it took them about 30 minutes to get one to us. So we were outside of our room for 30 minutes. Then it deactivated itself again. I think it's because I touched it with my phone, the room key. And that took another 25 minutes. And I'm just like, what the hell? Like, this is freaking crazy. Um, so, you know, not, not the best as far as service. Beach-wise, I give that a 9 out of 10. It is definitely really, really nice. The only criticism that I say to the beach is that, you know, sometimes there can be some orange things and uh, there's a lot of the, the seaweed or something that washes up on shore. They do clean it a lot though, which is actually really good. But it, it is there, you know. And... Uh, that's pretty much my only criticism, but the water is gorgeous here. Honestly, it's one of the most beautiful beaches I've seen, um, you know, here. Only other ones that I think I like a little bit better are, are the ones on the Bavaro side, which is where the Hard Rock is, um, and around any of those hotels on that coast, that side of it. It's really, really, really nice. Um, you know, the ones on that side, though, have are their own little, you know, things where the waves come in crazier. Like, I mean, there's some serious waves. If you like to surf, I think that one would be the place you want to go to, not here. But um, in general, these are these beaches are more calm. Waves are, you know, more chill and it's more family friendly. To actually get in the water, you don't really need to know how to swim a whole lot uh, versus the Bavarones. So in general, you know, I paid about $585 for this. Then I got here and upgraded and I ended up paying about $100, but this was like really negotiating, trying to fight, claw every single thing, you know, and I, and I got, you know, the upgrade for $100. Not something that is normal. Uh, they really made an exception because they messed up. Uh, but in general, for everything, my room, $685. And uh, would I come here again? I don't know, honestly. You know, five days, four nights, eating, you know, pretty bad food. I honestly don't know if it's worth it. If it's because of the place, yes, absolutely, I'd come back. Because the resort is, you know, really nice. And of course, the food is edible, but it's not, like I said, my favorite. It's not something that I look forward to eating. At least, it, you know, I'll give you an example. At least didn't even want to wake up for breakfast because she, the food's just trash, like, honestly. And I feel it, you know, today is the first time we ate was at 1 p.m. 
because lunch is a little bit better than the breakfast here. Unless you're into only fruits and stuff like that, then definitely come because you, you know you, you'll be good. But yeah, you know, I definitely give this resort in total, 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 probably a five to six out of ten, and it's mainly because of the food. So that's it for this video, guys. You know my you know perspective. If you guys want to come. I definitely recommend it for the resort, not for the food. Have low expectations. Although they do have a good, you know, fried chicken at, um, you know, right here at this place, right by the beach. And um, they also have something called the shawarma, which is the Arabian food um, that they have a food truck here. And those two things aren't that bad. But other than that, yeah, watch your taste buds. So, laters, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.